What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. So today we're going to do part two of how to be a successful fishing YouTuber. So essentially you've went out there, you've took your GoPro, your phone, you know, whatever you got to record your first video. You got it recorded. You got some clips. You done caught three or four 10 pound bass. And you're like, man, this video is about to be nuts. Well, how do I put it on YouTube, Steven? How, how do I edit it and put it on YouTube? So, we're going to break that down for you. First off, depending on what you use to record. So, if you use the GoPro, there's an SD card in the GoPro that you know you had to buy when you bought it. You'll take that SD card out. And if you don't have a laptop or a computer, that's fine. Most smartphones have an SD card port that you can plug it in and put all the videos on your phone. And once you do that, you can download an editor on your phone. I don't know the name of one off the top of my head, but I used it when I first started too. You can just go to the Google Play Store or whatever iPhones is and download you a video editor and you can edit on that for free using basically the same method I'm about to show now. So anyway, if you, know, if you do have a laptop or a computer, most of them have a spot to put one of these SD card things in and here's my 128 gig SD card that has the last bass fishing video on it yeah all, all the footage from that so unfortunately my computer doesn't have a spot for it so I ended up buying a reader that pretty much reads everything to figure out which one it is there we go. Now you just plug this in the USB on the computer and you can read your card. So let's get this back plugged up. Alright, so you've got either your phone ready or you got your SD card ready. Alright, now what if you film on your phone? How do you get them on your computer? That's simple. You take your charger, you plug it in, you take the cord, you plug it into your computer, and then you go through your files and transfer the files from your phone onto your computer into a file. Now, I'm not going to go do that because it's kind of, you know, a, a easy concept, but leave a comment down below if you'd like me to make a video to show you how to do that. The next step is going to be downloading an editor on you know your computer well the easiest one is called shot cut s o h t cut you literally go to google you click download right here you know if you got a windows or a mac you know just find whichever download it is download and install that so next we're going to open it up. So when you first open Shotcut, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, except for this YouTube button right here. But that's the one I normally use right there when I export it, which we'll get into that. So you've got all your files on your computer that you need to, to edit. You've got your editing program. You've got a computer that can edit this video. So what's the next step? Alright, so literally, I'm going to walk you through probably two or three clips and I'm going to show you how easy I make it when I edit. So your own shot cut, you to click open file, and we're going to get an arrow. Da, 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 da. I don't know what it's doing. Let's make sure it's still working. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to open shot cut. We're going to go to our... DCIM folder and that, that's where all your GoPro footage should be. And we're going to go through here. Yeah, he so we're going to turn the sound off of here. Like that. Let me check the uh, video recorder to make sure it looks good. Alright. So 
this right here is pretty much like I don't even know how long of a clip this is pretty long we caught one right there Oh, that's where I caught one out. It's not a very long clip. Let's try the other one. That's 9950, 9949. Yep, okay. So, the way I do all of my videos is I take this chest camera. Now, this is going to change whenever I get my truck back and I'm back on the water. I'm going to have two angles and editing is going to get a lot weirder, but it's going to look better. So, let me pause this real quick. Put my chest camera on, alright? I got four or five batteries for this. Do not get the GoPro batteries. Pro tip, order them off Amazon. Off brand work better than the regular ones. Anyways, I got this on here, you know, with the case and everything. When I start fishing, I click record. Alright? I fish. And top. And if I say something interesting that I want the viewers to see or hear, I'll stop recording. You hit the button again, it'll go beep, 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 beep. Start it again. So, essentially, I do that. And then when I catch a fish, I get the fish unhooked. I look at him, put him in the live well, talk about him, put him back in the water, hit the button. Now, essentially, you know, what, what does that do? I want to show you what it does. So, every clip that I have in my DCIM is either no fish catches or nothing I want to put in the video or it has a fish catch or something I said at the end of it. So with this one, I can pretty much go all the way to the end, find where I caught the fish. You know, we're going to drag this down here to your timeline. Alright, now, <clears throat> these little bumps at the bottom of this timeline if you can watch these bumps that's when you're talking or something is going on and when you get rises in them is normally let's see now I'm just talking there so let's see what I said right there oh you can't hear it cuz I got the, the sound off hold on I think all that rain would be a little bit muddy but you know, I talked about how we got a lot of rain and it should be muddy I put that in the video y'all seen the video the other day if you haven't go check it out after this video don't don't click off make sure to hit the like button so we're gonna go through here we're gonna find all the spikes and see what's going on in this spike so I'm just talking there now here's a, here's a bunch of spikes so this is probably where I caught him yep so I figured out where I caught him. So now I can press S to cut it. And then you right click, remove. So now this clip is going to start right before I catch a fish. There he is, right there. That's a good one. Now this is just, you know. <laughs> it might be a mud fish. A simple way to edit these videos <clears throat> you uh, you click open file you find which one you want and you drag it from the big screen the big window where everything is you drag it down to the timeline on the bottom and then you piece them together and once you're done with that you've got all your stuff edited the way you want it and there's other videos on shot cut out there I'm not an expert you can YouTube and they can be more in-depth I'm just giving you tips about fishing videos in general using a GoPro. Now when you're done you hit export. Yeah, export. And then it'll pop up this thing on the left. You want to click YouTube, export file, give it a name, and you hit save and it's going to render your whole video. This can take a long time depending on your PC, how much RAM you have on your computer and all that normally about 20 to 30 minutes if you have a video over 10 minutes so and then you just upload it to YouTube so that's how you take your raw footage you put it on your computer and you edit it down 
and then you make a whole video and now on part three we're going to cover how to get it on youtube so y'all stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe hit the bell notification and y'all see y'all on part three yeah